How do you talk about something that doesn't even exist? Oh, oh, oh my God, it's world peace. Might as well be because like the, I, I, I'm not even sure if this is possible. The new Nintendo 3DS. What a giant mess this was. I just kind of want to talk about it and talk about what genuinely is one of my favorite Nintendo handhelds. Uh, it took a damn long time to get it though. So let's talk about the 3DS. So the original 3DS launched in 2011 and that was just this fucking layer cake of glitter. Definitely felt like it was overcompensating and trying to look really sleek and cool, but ended up looking just a little, a little silly. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, not the greatest looking thing in the world. It did the job. It wasn't like the original DS. It didn't look that horrible. But I think around the time we were all desperately hoping for an upgrade, not only in terms of design, but functionality. I mean, the battery life was dog shit. The 3D effect was kind of dog shit. And I say kinda because actual dog shit, I mean you can move around that and it's not gonna go blurry. The 3D effect on the original 3DS, you had to be looking dead on for it to work. If you move that thing even slightly, it would go blurry, you would see double. Kinda like seeing a 3D movie without the glasses on, like it would just, it would just be blurry. Which was really weird because so many 3DS games actually utilize like the motion sensor in the handheld. So for like something like Star Fox, uh, it had a feature where you can move the system around and, and fly that way, which uh, kind of just spit in the face of the 3D effect. What we were all hoping for was a Nintendo 3DS Lite, like a DS Lite, but for the 3DS, just a refined, nice, sleek version of that handheld. What we got was the 3DS XL. Okay, so... It was an upgrade. It definitely felt a lot better. The screen size was a huge improvement, uh, but d design wise, I mean, it it kind of looked a little worse. Definitely not as premium feeling, that's for sure. So much about the 3DS XL felt like a cheaper version of the original 3DS. The box was smaller. The materials used on that thing felt like cheaper plastic. It kind of felt like cost cutting while also making a more expensive system. The original 3DS was 170 bucks. The 3DS XL, 200. And you got less stuff. You didn't get like the charging cradle you got with the original 3DS. You got a smaller box. The 3D indicator on the top screen wasn't lit up on the 3DS XL. I mean, that's deplorable. But I still really like the 3DS XL as an upgrade. I felt that it was a lot more comfortable to use. The screen size upgrade was definitely well needed. And the battery life was slightly better, like 30 minutes better. It was barely worth anything. So I guess that means we're due for a 3DS Lite now. <laughs> you. The Nintendo 2DS released in 2013. This was just kind of an offshoot to give consumers a really cheap 3DS option uh, around the time that Pokemon X and Y were coming out. I mean, it made all the sense in the world. You release a 3DS without the 3D effect, which was already kind of controversial for children. You know, it's kind of like, hey, if you're under the age of seven, for the love of God, don't use the 3D effect. I mean, sure, you can leave that slider down, but... <laughs> You know a five-year-old's not gonna do that. They see any slider or knob and they're gonna turn it or slide it up. It's just natural. So here's an insanely cheap version of the 3DS with the 3D just entirely taken out. And now your little kid can play Pokemon, good for them. It was a smart move, but definitely not like an exciting one. Uh, but then one year later, it happened. A full-blown upgrade to the 3DS was announced. Two versions of it, the new, 3DS and new 3DS XL. These were announced in Japan only in August of 2014. And this felt like it was taking like every single problem with the 3DS and 3DS XL and rectifying them. So now on the new 3DS systems, we have a super stable 3D effect. It actually uses the top camera here to track your eyes. So then you can at least move around a little more freely without the 3D effect completely dropping out. There's a little animal nipple now, the C-Stick. Uh, this allows you to have second camera control or just dual stick control in 3DS games. Originally, you'd have to use the Circle Pad Pro. You know, that was pretty fucked up. So now it's built in. Uh, even though it's not a second circle pad, it's pretty much like a, a thumb eraser that just senses your, your touch inputs. 
I mean, it's there and it does the job. That's fine enough. It has a better processor, which makes the uh, menu interface a lot snappier. Uh, load times in certain games are much quicker, uh, but also it can allow for its own exclusive games like Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. That was announced for it. You have NFC support now, which means you can just put an amiibo on the bottom screen and it'll read for certain games that support amiibo. This was just an overall amazing upgrade to the 3DS, but they didn't stop there. Face plates, bitches. Yeah, the 3DS, the new 3DS offered cover plates. You can swap out the top and bottom cover plates to be whatever you wanted them to be. Uh, though strangely enough, the new 3DS XL didn't offer these. Uh, that one was just kind of a, a normal 3DS XL, uh, but with like kind of the extra added features here. So here I have a new 3DS XL and the new 3DS. And there's some specific design differences between these two that's uh, that's just kind of strange. Uh, the fact is, you know, this specifically has the interchangeable face plates. This does not. Uh, I don't really know why they did that, but I, I feel like it was probably due to giving uh, each system their own benefits to them. Like you kind of have a reason to own both. The new 3DS XL, has the big screens and it's overall just a more premium device in, in that regard. The new 3DS has interchangeable face plates. So, uh, you know, you can pick one or the other. Kind of have more of a reason to pick up the original new 3DS for that reason. In addition, it's kind of cute. Uh, the buttons on the new 3DS systems are color coordinated to match the Super Famicoms, which is really neat. But on the 3DS XL, it's just the letters that are colored. And on the new 3DS, the full on buttons are. I think the buttons are, are a lot cooler here. But, uh, you know, that's just me. So, I definitely prefer the form factor of the new 3DS XL. It's definitely just a lot more comfortable in the hands. It's a lot less cramped, and it just feels very premium. I'm not a big fan of how this has a glossy finish now, but I never found the glossy finish to be, like, that egregious. Now, it's not like Wii U gamepad levels of, like, pure gloss hell. But I really love the matte finish of the new 3DS. And hey, if you hate matte finishes, you can find cover plates that don't have matte finishes. Though not everything is perfect with this redesign. I hate the new stylus placement. Like, who who wants it down here? And to access your micro SD card, uh, you have to unscrew the back of the systems on both of these uh, to take pry even the back plate of the system off to then swap out your SD card. And even then, for the new 3DS, you have to do that to swap out the faceplate, which uh, I just feel is uh, very inaccessible. It's not very fun. It kind of takes some of the fun out of uh, being able to change out the faceplate. The top screen here, you can just kind of pop off whenever you want. You know, that's just all super easy. You just pop it on and then boom, you're good to go. The back, not so much. In the new 3DS XL's defense, uh, how often are you really going to be changing your micro SD card? So, you know, it's not a huge deal. Uh, but uh, the new 3DS, you know, this is supposed to be uh, genetically engineered to uh, make you want to swap out the back at a moment's notice. And uh, having to use a screwdriver for that, uh, it's definitely a big detriment. But hey, look at all the fun cover plates you can pick up for this. Here's an Animal Crossing one, and I also have just all these other ones just randomly here. I mean, like, there's just so much random cover plates for the new 3DS. A lot of gray ones. I always wanted this Smash Brothers one. This always looked amazing. And it's just so fun, you know, you just pop off the top there and then you can just pop these on. And there we go. Yes, I am officially a weird ass. Something I find kind of cool is how the stylus of the new 3DS is, is kind of a pickaxe. Uh, the, uh, the top of it is kind of meant to uh, be pretty easy to uh, just pry your uh, face plates off. There we go. So much like every other 3DS design, uh, the new 3DS and new 3DS XL aren't perfect. They have a couple of weird little quirks about them uh, that, that are just kind of annoying and just a little strange. But overall, I mean, like these are obviously the definitive 3DS models. And I would argue that my favorite is the original new 
3DS. I love the look of this. I love the colored buttons. The matte finish is great. Uh, the white one here, it, it just looks so delectable. The cover plates are just so unbelievably fun. And sure, one of the big weird things about these is that how uh, the AC adapter was not included in new 3DS models. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a little stupid, especially considering how they are proprietary 3DS chargers. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, they were the same chargers used from the DSi onwards, so, I mean, <laughs> there was a lot of them out there. But that was never enough to make me not love the new 3DS. The new 3DS XL, I think, is obviously, like, the superior overall practical one to use. But in terms of just what my favorite one is aesthetically, I mean... It, it's gotta be the new 3DS. That is if Nintendo allows me to use one. This is where the weirdness comes in. All right, so like I said, uh, August 2014, Nintendo in Japan announced new 3DS and new 3DS XL. A bit weird timing because it was right before the holiday season. And uh, Nintendo of America pretty much said like, yeah, you know, like we'll, we'll bring these over, but but at a later date. So I mean like 2014, holiday season, you had Smash Brothers for 3DS coming out. And at the same time, I feel like you kind of made it so then people didn't really want to buy 3DS systems. I mean, 3DS systems were still sold. That, that was all fine and good. But uh, definitely felt like weird timing to announce, hey, there's new 3DS units coming. Uh, just, you know, just, just bear with us for a couple months. Please keep buying 3DS units, but, uh, there, there's better ones coming. And right when 2014 ended, January 2015 hit, and they announced new 3DS was coming to North America. Just one of them, though. Yeah, so we only got the new 3DS XL. That was the only one that was announced for North America. In January of 2015, they didn't mention the original size Nintendo 3DS. Uh, it, it was genuinely just the XL was coming. That was always just so weird to me because, you know, Europe got the new 3DS as well. Like, why didn't we get it? Uh, well, I, I assume it's because the new 3DS XL was just a little more, like, ideal. The regular size new 3DS uh, it's a little more of kind of like a cute little novelty, I guess. And when you're not including an AC adapter, when you have to stock all these extra cover plates on store shelves and all of that, uh, it, it just seems like a lot for stores to take on uh, when this isn't like an obvious upgrade like the new 3DS XL is. The new 3DS XL is like, hey, it's big. Uh, you only have to sell like one thing with it. It's like the definitive 3DS. Uh, there's no question it'll do well. The new 3DS, I, I feel like a lot of people upgraded to the XL, so, uh, you know, going to this would almost feel like they're downgrading, and then you'd have to have, like, these whole sections in the gaming area at Target dedicated to, uh, to just, to just new 3DS cover plates. I guess it just seemed like a bit too much of a commitment for Nintendo of America. So... We didn't get the new 3DS. Or did we? Yeah, so a surprising turn of events, Nintendo of America just randomly announced when uh, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer was coming out that the new 3DS would be releasing alongside it in this special Happy Home Designer bundle with some face plates included. And then we also got a new 3DS, like Pokemon 20th Anniversary Edition uh, that included like the Pokemon red and blue face plates. And then we got this 3D Land bundle. This is the one I got. I, I, I really like the Mario Maker faceplate, that's why I got it. And then this Black Friday Mario edition, uh, where the black one and white one were released. So, uh, we, we definitely got a fair amount of regular new 3DS bundles. But I don't think this thing's still officially released over here. The new 3DS was kind of always just a special edition 3DS unit in North America. We never got cover plates that were released in stores by themselves. The only cover plates we got, like, were included in these bundles. I think they released some cover plates on the official Nintendo online store, but that was it. And I just find it really strange how this 3DS released over here, but, but not really. It just felt like this really weird special release kind of thing. And to be fair, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, like I said, you know, practically looking at things, 
the new 3DS feels a bit more like a novelty compared to the regular size 3DS XL. This is designed to be a little more of like a, a weird little fashion statement. I mean, the Japan commercials for the new 3DS featured this like whole like fashionable redesign for all these Nintendo characters, emphasizing how you can customize your new 3DS to look however you want. And there just wasn't really a market for that at that time in North America for uh, Nintendo 3DS units. I, I think you were kind of just buying a 3DS to play Nintendo games and the new 3DS XL did exactly that. I think they just went with this because like they knew it was gonna do well, whereas the new 3DS is more of kind of like a, oh, if you want it, if you wanna be cute, and I get it, but it's still unfortunate that this kind of got shafted in the States. I'm very thankful that it still ended up releasing because this is my favorite 3DS. Even though the 3DS XL, I would much rather use. Uh, the new 3DS just looks Amazing, I love that bastard. But I'd say if you want one of these, you probably should jump on it sooner than later because uh, like the limited releases these things got in the States, uh, I, I think definitely make it one of the more obscure 3DS systems. I feel in North America, it's probably the most obscure 3DS system revision. I mean, even like the new 2DS XL, I feel like that had a wider release, but I salute the new 3DS. I love this stupid little thing. It's so cool. And the fact that Nintendo of America hated it <laughs> makes it so much cooler.